Ooh. Look at that. Whoa. So in 40 years. It's Gary Oldman. In the Battle of Vega. Impossible. Galactopedia. That's Mark Hamill. Yeah. <laughs> what? Continuing our cinematic quest through games with Squadron 42, I Held the Line, Star Citizen Showcase Cinematic. This video was selected by our Dragoon tier member, Baked Hot Dog. If you want to choose a video for me to react to, click that join button, become a Dragoon. If you've been enjoying our time together, check out some of the other videos we've covered on this channel. Cool. Man, that's gorgeous. Is that if that's in game? Whew. Archangel six, come in. Go for six. Getting a faint contact on bearing two eight seven. You picking that up? Yeah, got it. Cool. That. That's beautiful. All in game. That's commercial vessel out of Vega three. Insane. Just like the cloud simulation alone, man, the lighting. Copy that. You guys seeing this? Oh yeah, this looks ridiculous. Is this for PS5 or just PC? Come back, Gary. The heck kind of machine runs this? Copy that. Yeah, really nice lighting. Look at the sort of like um There's an ambient lighting coming from like that cloud over there on the red on the rocks then there's of course this like star light which is beautiful very strong yeah this game's been being developed for a while right Woo! the music is great look at that very impressive and this is like all these ships have interiors right because this is in game wild in position and holding now yeah it just feels so grand and knowing that the planet in front of you is also explorable is ridiculous all right yeah it looks really good pc only ah yeah i really hope they uh throw that on like ps5 or something eventually but don't know if it can handle it oh cool i know i just wrote you but a couple of hours ago proximity sensors on, on the other side, side of the jump got to what where it is it might be that clan we've been battling with so is this custom characters are showing i guess that last fight didn't scare them off quite like we all hoped it would yeah honestly customizable voice too we've been out here so long i don't know what to pull for anymore Jeez. I just I just wanted to let you know. That's so cool, man. I'll write as soon as I can. Stay safe. That's great. Your loving son. Whoa. This is like the intro to the game. That's great. Yeah, it just seems like a world that you could do absolutely nothing and explore for like a hundred hours and have the best time ever. <laughs> you know? Look at the lighting. Never gets old, does it? Hmm. Sir. Sir. Eddie's. I used to do the same thing when I was first coming up. Awesome. Post up to the flight deck whenever I could to watch the launches. <laughs> Amazing. Performance capture too is really good. Have you seen the F-8s up close? No, sir. The thing's a beast. Awesome. Nimble, too. Twelve maneuvering thrusters and three mains. It sure sounds like it. Sir. <laughs> that was funny. Captain McLaren, to the bridge. Captain McLaren, to the bridge. Really nice. Look at the hair, too. Really well done. I saw you apply to the Flight Academy again. Yes, sir. Again? Keep your head up. Took me a couple times before I got in. Yeah, incredible. Thank you, sir. Very, very grounded filmmaking here, which I like. Um, you know, it's not overly fancy. It feels like I'm in the room. It feels like almost a documentary film because it's so real. And that's that's what they're showcasing here. They're showcasing this is a world that you can live in, that you can customize your character and just exist in. I really like that scene. 
you know, nothing overly fancy. Just like great fundamentals. Awesome over the shoulders. Like that's so awesome. That, and of course they're focusing on the scale here too. Um, they're focusing on the scale of both the characters, but also, you know, the sheer size of the world and kind of contrasting it like that, which I love kind of just like the ships outside are emphasizing that very strong sort of like starlight that's coming, you know, from the sun. <laughs> it's really cool. And they're, you know, using that to kind of carve out the background of the scene. You have this beautiful ray of light coming in the window and you just have these nice little, uh, kind of like my background, right? You put a little light here and there to have some bokeh and have it just pop a little bit. It's nice. Fantastic. Yeah, and obviously sure. this is a this is a showcase is focusing on performance very wisely so to have such great actors, right? Yeah, even like the eye movement is fantastic and stuff. So organic. Thank you, sir. But I do like again, feels a little bit documentary just because there's a little bit of um subjective feel to the camera. It feels like you're in the room because there's a little bit of camera shake, not some crazy, you know, like whatever, insane, you know, like Hunger Games camera shake that makes you just want to leave the theater and, you know, go home. <laughs> it's just like a little bit. Uh, that makes it subjective. Feels like, okay. It's a perspective of someone who's alive. Let's check we it out. fight today. Whoa. So in 40 years from now, when you're surrounded by everything and no everyone way. you hold dear, and they ask, what did you do? Is Gary Oldman? In the Battle of Vega. No way. You can look them in the eye and say. Impossible. I heard the line. No way. That's Men and women insane. of the second fleet. In a video game? I am proud to stand with you today. Good luck. Crazy. Push about. That they captured this like little chin movement that Gary opened it. Wow. Nice speech. Amazing. Oh, it's uh, what's his name? Mark. From the recon team? What's his name? Mark. Uh, Let's get into position. Mark Strong. Yeah. He's great too. Man. Some amazing actors here. Wild. Chom dog, how you doing? <laughs> Dude, Gary Oldman saying, isn't that crazy? <laughs> no, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Again, focusing on performance. I like how they're not doing anything over the fancy. They're pretty much showcasing how good it looks. Throughout the polish phase, yeah. our team is taking every opportunity to push things to the what? next level. John Tell Rice Davies? Company. This is not good. The Cine team no is way. focused on finalizing edit lock no on all of our big action as well as Wait, all Wait, no, that wasn't who I thought it was. Sequences. I could have pulled this off of the Galactopedia. That's Mark Hamill! Yeah, probably, <laughs> what? but I think their solar mass calculations are wrong, though. <laughs> what? Well, this is ridiculous. How so? We are now able to adjust our shot composition what? to final camera. We have Gimli and Luke Skywalker in scenes together? This is wild, man. What is this game? Us. Thanks to recently crafted space vistas. So look at this. This is before and this is after. What in the world? It says, yeah, insane difference in pretty much everything. Um, there's there's a level of organic lighting here that is just beautiful. There's a really diffused lighting coming on the character. Look here, it's a little bit more harsh, even though it's still like kind of mimicking diffused lighting in real life. There's still a little bit of harshness in it, and it's just kind of flat, so to speak. And in this, look at this, just ambient diffused lighting, just very softly going across the face. You have some room lighting on the edge of the hair to build out the subject. Absolutely insane. And there's like a haze in the background too. Like what kind of lighting tech are they using? What is this? Th All right, who can run me a chat? There's this new lighting technology that is like beyond ray tracing that they invented. And I saw like one picture of it. I think it was showcasing it in like cyberpunk. Um, it looks ridiculous. It looks photo real. Um, so I don't know if this is that or not, but let's keep watching. And level art being content complete now. It'd be nice Absolute to know madness. how much of a shit storm we're flying into. Dude. More like a hellstorm blue. One you ain't gonna fly out of. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> now, Shut I up. haven't seen another ship that wasn't trying to kill me in days. Let alone a hauler, let alone a Jean. Insane cast. So you can imagine my surprise. Detailed lighting passes can be done on hero sequences so we can show our cast and convey their emotions in the best light possible. And it's ridiculous. And we're making sure our cinematics are triggering as fluid as we can craft them so they form a coherent concerto with the rest of the player's narrative experience. It's so impressive. Mr. Wexler, this is Lieutenant Commander Colton. Oh. And they call it Commander, to mine. Hey, Julian Wexler, oh, I'm mine. the field manager of this little operation. 
Welcome aboard the Archon. What brings the Navy to this? Oh, this is the, the guy universe? from uh, Rogue One, too. We got Isn't to it? With Lieutenant Commander Colt. No <laughs> way. As others will share, this is the most rewarding oh, dude, what's his name? He's the man. Which allows us to truly experience the visceral and what oftentimes is this emotional moments that our narrative provides. Oh, my goodness. Path tracing. Is that what it's called? Yeah, you path tracing. After Vega? Dude. I'm not Patrick. sure I handled anything. What's up, HJ? How you remember doing? Remember that stuff like this is supposed to hurt. <laughs> what is going on? I've never been good at dealing with problems I can't fix. Unbelievable. Well, this is one that you don't have to do alone. <laughs> That's good to know. Look at that. For the animation teams, polish phase means refining the social up. aspects of Squadron 42. So I want to go back a little bit and look at this. Look at the... Uh... Yeah, this is the best way to describe it. There's like this kind of naturalistic haze in the lighting that is just that is just not usually present in games. Space is not ready for this cast. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Path tracing. Yeah, I think that must have been the thing. It was a, just a screenshot of like Pan Am from Cyberpunk. And it looked ridiculous. I'm like, what is this? Henry Cavill is in it as well? Of course he is. <laughs> Who else? Who else is in there? What a crazy cat. I can't believe they got Gary Oldman, though. Like, a lot of the... Like, I feel like Mark Hamill, he's done a bunch of voice work. He's done video game work in the past. Gary Oldman is a crazy person to get in a game. I feel like he's not done stuff before. I could be wrong. Gaming stuff. Yeah. All right, let's see. That's good to know. Insane. For the animation. I want to see the before and after again. Yeah, that was the one I want to see. Look at this. And what happening to the hair is you can still see the kind of like individualized like triangles of the hair and how it like sits there. And then it just becomes a little bit more fluid. I don't know what the word is. So cool. Ah, it's amazing. And even this, you know, the light. How it kind of bleeds over the shoulder. Oh, man. That is just subtle, subtle work. Looks really, really photo real. And to have that kind of space behind it rendered in this insane scale is just completely out of control. Andy Serkis uh, is in it as well. He's an alien. Of course, Andy Serkis is an alien. Are we surprised? <laughs> Oh man, what a what a showcase! But yeah, I mean, I talk about the lighting all day. It's really, really groundbreaking. This is obviously a little bit more of a, um, a almost like a tech demo, just to show how good it looks. So, um, you know, they're obviously focused on that and the performances, which are completely stellar. What I'm looking forward to is when this drops, which I'm afraid to ask if there's a date yet on it, right? Because it's been been worked on forever, right? You guys said, um, but if there is a date, I would love to see when this is done, like a kind of fully completed cinematics that we can break down the sort of story of of the camera work and how it's playing into it and stuff this is uh just a few shots here and there but incredible work yeah i mean even look at the background bokeh like we were talking about before this has this really really soft feel to it it's incredible it's something that can really only be achieved with those kind of like cine lenses like the you know f1.4 and those just ridiculous apertures um but it's just so soft the character is shown sweating. Yeah, that's the other thing. The, I thought it was a tear at first. I think it might be a tear as well. But there's just sweat <laughs> coming down the character. There's like wetness in the eyes and stuff. Really impressively done. Yeah. Really impressively done. <clears throat> awesome. I wonder, where Star, uh, I wonder where Star Wars Eclipse from Quantic Dream has finished then. Uh, one of the most photorealistic things I've seen. Yeah. Yeah. That's the other thing. Um, working with Quantic Dream, like really excited about their upcoming projects as well. Like I said, at PAX East, we were uh, we were working on that. That's awesome. No date yet, but a lot of the work devs are moving on. There's no date yet, but a lot of the devs have moved over to work on bringing assets to Star Citizen. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say with a with stuff like that happening, it's a very good sign. It's mostly like all right, most likely okay, we are almost done. Let's pull in some extra help to close this close this case and release this thing. So that's really good. Yeah. The last four seconds, I think. What's that? A brief alien at the very end of the video. Oh, they do show aliens. So there are going to be aliens. Good to know. Yeah. I mean, I feel like... So the last... I saw a video of Star Citizen before. And I feel like it was just... Um, 
It was only exploration. I think we watched it on a viewer choice. Am I, am I remembering correctly? It looked really cool. So, um, yeah. If that's the same game, which I think it is, very interesting to have this level of cinematics because when I watched that, I figured it was like, that was the first one he suggested. Yeah, that's what I thought, Hot Dog. When I watched Hot Dog's first one, I was like, this seems just like a complete sandbox, you know, insanity that will never uh, have too much of a story. And man, was I wrong. This is <laughs> this is insane. And again, with a game that's so open world, uh, open worlds, I should say, uh, I'm curious how they're going to make the story come into play. Like, will it work depending on what planet you're on? Will it change the story? Is it a set thing? But man, with actors of that caliber, thinking it's probably a set story, right? Yeah, I think that was the video that made me implement the length rule. Yes, it was like, what, 25 or 30 minutes. And I was like, it's kind of long. It's kind of long. We'll, we'll, we'll skip a couple parts of it. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Hot Dog. This has been a glorious viewer choice. Yeah. Oh, you can see a little bit more here One too. You yeah. don't have to do alone. That's awesome. I want to skim through a little bit more. Yeah, that looks great. Somebody said it's an alien right at the end. Ah, that is indeed an alien. Ah, is that Andy Circus? That's wild. Yeah, I'm just still appreciating the lighting. I mean, this shot right here, man, they're really flexing with this. The way that the light is diffusing through the fog and the mist. Like if you had shown this screenshot to me, I'd be like, oh, cool. That What set is on that? Is that on? <laughs> it looks photo real. Look at that. Yeah. And it, it really is that sort of misty, um, like diffused lighting coming through the fog, which is like, I feel they have not had in games um, before this new technology. It just adds that next level of kind of like, you know, achieving the space, making it look real. It's really kind of unnerving. That's Andy Circus. <laughs> All right, let's play it as we can hear. Of course it is. That's Andy Circus. That's wild. I love it. Creature voice. Of course. He's going to kill it. CGI movie scenes that look like this. Yeah, but I don't know, man. I don't know if there's many CGI movie scenes that I can see a still like that and be like, oh, that's real. Right? Like 100%? I feel like you can usually tell. This is crazy. So anyways, I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed. I mean that in a good way. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. You're saying it looks pre-rendered. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And a complimentary, convincingly good. Yes, yes. I agree with that. 